We'll call the governing board meeting of the Lammersville Unified School District Board to order at 7 p.m. Um, we will wait a moment for the Mountain House High School boys tennis team and their coach, Dr. Sue. Welcome, Dr. Sue, and the Mountain House High School boys tennis team. Dr. Sue, if, if you or one of your fantastic tennis players will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Uh, hi, my name is Shriram Ranga. I'm a senior, or graduated senior of Mountain House High School, and I was the past tennis year, boys tennis captain. So, yeah. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. All right. Hello, um, President Clement, Superintendent Nicholas, and the rest of the uh, Board of Trustees. Uh, happy to be here today to uh, recognize this incredible group of young men uh, that I've been very lucky to work with over the last uh, three years, most of them, or a lot of them, last three years. Um, and uh, to say a little bit about the team before I introduce everybody, this team could easily have gone undefeated, but their coach um, decided to go all over the Northern California and find the hardest teams in the area to compete with them. So. Uh, unfortunately, I found one that was better than them. In fact, we started the season at uh, Amador Valley in Pleasanton, where our former vice principal, Athena, went to, and uh, they kicked our, well, I can't say that. <laughs> they, they, they destroyed us 9-0, but since that match, um, we won the next 19, and in fact, uh, to show how dominant this team was, out of the 19, some of you guys may know this already, each tennis match has nine points. And in those 19 matches, we were 168 and three. So we won like 98% of the matches. In fact, in the last uh, 15 matches, including the playoffs and the championships, we won 135 matches in a row. So um, this team is what a group of great young men that you know I was very fortunate to be able to coach and um, just very happy to introduce them. So uh, starting with my captain, Senior Sri Ram. He's going to Cal, unfortunately, I mean, <laughs> instead of UCLA. Uh, also Senior Asad uh, Pranav is a junior, so he'll be back. Zuhair is, I can't remember, sophomore, right? Yeah, So, and Aria is a junior coming back. Andy Jr. is a freshman, he'll be back. My right, freshman's Adi, Parthiv, Nathan, and then I have another senior, Sankalp. You're going to Purdue, right? And then Tehran, you're a junior, right? Ayush, San Jose State? Uh, Riverside. Riverside now. And then Galtham, you're going to Oklahoma. And you know, Daniel is a sophomore, I think. I don't know, so many kids. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, congratulations. So, um, and of course, you guys know. Hold on. Just, all right. I mean, you probably already know this, but uh, this is the first boys team in Mountain House High School history to win a sectional championship. So big hands for these guys. Do you want them to come up or? Um, yes, and then, then we'll recognize um, Supervisor Rickman. Do we want to? Uh, or have him come. Do want to be Supervisor Rickman since he sure. brought some yeah. uh, nice sure. vice Bring everybody up. Yeah, perfect. Supervisor Rickman, if you if you will. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, Mr. President, Board Superintendent, for allowing me to be here today to recognize some outstanding students and an outstanding coach here in Mountain House. And I know our coach Andy Sue. This is the second time now that he has won a section championship, first one being um, the girls tennis. And, it, you know, I wanted to recognize, and I reached out to Andy, and Andy reached out to me, 
is that you know, sectional championships are very, very rare. And there's cities that go decades or have been in existence for a century that has never, never won one. And the dedication and hard work that our students or your students have done to get to this point is ex exceptional. I'm always a huge fan of sports. I know I try to attend as many high school sports as I can. I know, for example, my dad and I go watch you know, many football games on Friday nights and it's a tradition that we carry on. And one of the reasons that we do it, sports is so huge for our, you know, our families and tradition, but for you know, instilling dedication, integrity, and teamwork for our, uh, our youth. So with that, on behalf of San Joaquin County and on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, it's my honor to present a certificate of recognition. We'll start it out with Coach Andy Sue. And one thing I'll mention is that, you know, we're like running out of certificates in San Joaquin County. And I know our clerk, and then every time she looks at Andy Sue's name, so you gotta be careful, Andy. You see a car walk, you know, going by your house in the middle of the night, it might be San Joaquin County's car. But presented to Andy Sue, Coach Mountain Howe High School Boys Tennis, in recognition of your CIF San Joaquin Sectional Championship, your leadership, guidance, and dedication to the Boys Tennis team have earned you and the team a historical victory that you and the Mountain House community can be proud of for years to come. Congratulations on a champion year. Stated on today's day, signed by Vice Chair of the Board of Supervisors, Robert Rickman. So. And we have a certificate for each member of the boys tennis team, and I'll just say their names. I'll, I'll start with their names, and then I'll go with the narrative, and so we can get out of here as fast as we can. We have um, certificate of recognition to Sherman Ringa. Sherram. Sherram Ringa. Yep. And it's not. Uh, Shell's not here. I'll take it. And he's not here either. And uh, Manas Mont Montre. Are you Chef. 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 Gotham Chandra. Jerry Lee. No. St. Cobb Raupa. Sridhar McKenna, That's it. That's it. Asad Shaheen, huh? were you going Stanford? No, I'm going to be transferring. Transferring, all right. Pranav Sundar, Pranav. Arya Vishna. Sharon Batula. Daniel Zing. <laughs> Mohammed Magal. Oh, and that's Eden Mikado. And Adi, Adi. Adi Rajan. <laughs> Parthiv Agabelli. Little Andy Sue. <laughs> and um, last, and Nathan Zachariah. I'm just going to read this one on behalf of the Board of Supervisors for all of you. It's my honor and to present a certificate of recognition to the Mountain House High School Boys Tennis Team in recognition of the CIF SAC San Joaquin Sectional Championship. Your hard work, dedication, and determination have earned you a historical victory that you and the Mountain House community can be proud of for years to come. Congratulations on championship year signed by Robert Rickman, Vice Chair.
Fellas, you guys are going to have to like come on in two and rows. do like two yeah. rows. Yeah. Maybe somebody in front. Congratulations, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. We better print some more certificates. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Okay, hey, congratulations, man. Good job. And I believe you have one more. Right. One more. To and then I'll get out, get out of your guys' hair. But hey, this is a great thing. I mean, your 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 Lambertville School District and your schools are your students are just exceptional. Wait, yeah. I didn't hear that. What, what was exceptional? That? <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> you guys are doing a great, great job, and you know you don't see this. Uh, you know a lot of. Well, you know what? I I, I don't want to play favorites. But um, it's my honor to present. I know she's not here today, but this certificate, and this is very, very impressive. Uh, on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, it's my honor to present the certificate of recognition to Jacqueline Prawera, a senior, she's a senior at Mountain House High School, in recognition of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's 2022 Patrick H. Hurd Sustainability Award, earning one of the nation's top science awards for your research project, CycloCloud, development of fish scale waste derived materials for absorbance of aquatic pollutants into using biological process to clean up water pollution. Your commitment, dedication, and years long effort exhibit your skill, knowledge, and concern for our shared environment. One of two awardees among 1,750 high school student from 63 countries, regions, and territories who presented their independent research during the Regeneron International Science and Engineers Fair. We are proud to have you representing San Joaquin County in the EPA's National Sustainability Design Expo. Congratulations on an honor well deserved and good luck at the expo. Signed by Vice Chair of the Board of Supervisors, Robert Rickman. I don't know how you can get more impressive than that. So, Board, you know, the Superintendent, if you don't mind, I'll can I give this to you? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Board, thank you very much again for allowing me to be here, and it's my pleasure. And, and please, if you guys ever need anything from San Joaquin County, please reach out and use me as a resource. So again, great job with you know your exceptional students and your exceptional board. So thank you again very much, and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you very much, thank Supervisor Rickman. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Okay, item two, roll call, please. Lisa Boulay. Here. Colin Clements. Here. Anita Daniel. Here. Stephanie Olson. Here. David Pombo. Here. Satya Selam. Absent. Thank you. Item three, approval and or corrections to the agenda. There are none. Move to approve the agenda. Second. Based on a motion by Trustee Olson and a second by Trustee Boulay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion carries with five ayes and no nays. Item four, recognition of district administration retirees. Um, so this means if we don't do that, they can't retire? I believe that's the, I believe that's the law. Okay. Um, the district would like to recognize two honored colleagues that have chosen to retire. Dr. Nicholas? Yeah, so we'd like to acknowledge uh, the two individuals individually. And so uh, if, if I may, if we could call Debbie Wingo up to the uh, podium for, for her acknowledgement. Uh, Debbie has uh, worked in public education for approximately 25 years, 17 years as a member of this great institution of learning known as Lammersville Unified. Um, I've known Debbie for nine years, and um, there is no greater advocate for the children who attend her school. She's got Bobcat pride coming out of every place they could come out of, and she's taught that to generations of students and generations of teachers. And there are uh, community members whose lives have been positively changed forever because of the passionate advocacy for excellence by one individual person, the leader of the school, Debbie Wingo. Uh, we have been very fortunate to have her be part of our district, part of our leadership team, part of our um, kick us in the shins when we're wrong at the district office team, and to make sure that everything is, is done with the appropriate flair and level of expertise that meets the standard of Debbie Wingo. So it has been an honor to know you as a person and an honor to know you as a leader and to be part and associated of your work because it's been exceptional. So congratulations on your retirement. Thank you. Since this is my last opportunity to do this, I just want to say, you know, over the years, I've been asked a lot what makes Bethany successful. And before that, Wickland, because we were equally as successful there. And um, I, I don't crunch a lot of numbers. I don't um, walk around quoting Mar the Marzanos of the world. It's not my style. And um, my success came from the interview room. And I always looked for people with that certain something, some kind of a spark. And I would take an intern with a spark over a diva any day of the week because I knew who they could be. And, um, and I told them you know, who I thought they could be, and they rose to the occasion. It, it was always like that. Um, I told the team when I came from Wickland, we're going to be the best, and we're going to have fun doing it. They believed me. We did that. Um, I believed in them, and they believed in themselves because of that. That's the secret. It's just that simple. All the success there isn't really because of me. It's because people believed in themselves, and they've done so much good work on the behalf of this community, on behalf of the community, the parents, the kids. Um, and I couldn't be prouder of, of the team that we built there. Thank you for letting me do that. I don't want to cry. I'm not a crier. Um, I'm going to miss them terribly. Thank you for hiring Debbie Ritchie. I think she is absolutely the right person to, to continue the work there. Um, I love that I hired her myself. I talked her into getting her credential and come out of the sub pool, take a job. Um, thank you for hiring Nicole Young. I hired her. I, it, it's really come full circle, and I'm, I'm proud of them, proud of the team, proud to have been part of the district, and um, I'm going to miss it. So, but I'm going to miss it from the beach. So that's, <laughs> that's the silver lining. Thank you for the opportunity. I really do appreciate the confidence. Thank you. And then our uh, second person to be acknowledged tonight is uh, Mrs. Heather Sherburn. If she could come up to the podium. We have a lot of full circles here in our district. Um, we were looking for uh, someone who could take over uh, a district going through growing pains as it was trying to implement 21st century instructional practices, technology, and had a grand vision of what it wanted to be but didn't quite have the map to get there. Um, interestingly enough, I made a phone call to an old colleague of mine 
uh, who worked in Modesto Unified, Mr. Harrison, and said, Thorsten, do you know of anybody who might be interested or capable of helping us out with our curriculum department? And he goes, well, there's this one lady, her name's Heather Sherburn, you might want to take a look. And lo and behold, uh, an application, an interview process, and all of a sudden uh, into our district emerges what would become the Sherbernator. <laughs> and um, we were uh, definitely going through growing pains. Uh, we lacked the horses uh, who had um, depth and breadth of experience and, and understanding of the application of curriculum to do what we wanted to do. Um, and she uh, came in and embraced the challenge built an incredibly strong team of coordinators, uh, oversaw a technology department that um, implemented, think about this, uh, the opening of a high school one-to-one -one and the transition from a traditional K-8 program to a one-to-one -one over a period of a, a short period of years. Heather's been in the profession for 33.5 years, and this is her seventh year with us. Um, so. What people don't see um, behind the scenes is the grinder. So um, the grinder never is off. They're always on, always seeking, always searching, always, always striving, and in some cases always driving me crazy, <laughs> but in a good way. Um, Heather is a passionate advocate for um, early childhood literacy, and that has broadened all the way to every child in every topic area in every way to get to their potential. Um, she's brought in an amazing uh, vision, uh, amazing amount of programs, implemented uh, strategies to get those, in, those programs from big ideas into actual practice, and uh, her legacy here in our district will be felt for years to come, and she has established a foundation from which uh, predecessors, future principals, future leaders in our district will be able to benefit from. So it is with my pleasure to congratulate you, the person who is one day younger than me, on your retirement. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I just want to say it has been a, a real pleasure and honor to be able to work here. I spent the majority of my career by choice working in very um, impoverished and challenged neighborhoods. And, um, you know, after 28 years, I needed a little bit of a change, or 25 years, six years at that time. And um, so talk about coming way to the other side of the pendulum from that. It was an amazing challenge personally to look at how do you take children who really mostly come from very enriched environments and continue to help support them and watch them grow in even more amazing ways and develop programs that really challenge and take them to the next level. And so it has personally been extremely rewarding to challenge myself and figure out how to do that and help make this district all that it can be and to leave it in the hands of where I know it will go amazing places beyond and um, so I couldn't be more proud I couldn't be um, happier to have gotten to come here and experience and learn all the things that I learned being here and work with really amazing people and um, it's just nice uh, I'll tell a quick story um, so I went to high school in Modesto, and we had a principal there who coined the whole motto of make a difference, Downey. And it was to the point, you know, you hear it all every day over the intercom, and I don't know, there's probably some version of it around success over at Modesto <laughs> or at uh, Mountain House High. But we were like, make a difference, Downey, you know, kind of snotty about it the way they did it. But that motto has rung in my head my entire life that I have to make a difference. And when there was something that needed to be done in the world that you don't complain about it, you don't see what's wrong, and then not stand up and do something and try to make a difference. And so the fact that I remember being a teenager who had the little snotty attitude about the, the, the phrase while I was in high school, and then to recognize how much it influenced me in my life has also been something that has um, really I don't, touched me and guided my life. And as I retire, I do like to think that I think I made a difference 
and lived up to my you know goal of what I was told to do in high school and what shaped me as a person and um, that that was my thing that's what I wanted to do is to make sure I made a difference and so I'm very happy to have been able to be here and to feel like I contributed so thank you I appreciate it before we before we take a break um, to uh, say thank you um, I wanted to give the board an opportunity to speak to or about um, either or both of these incredible retirees. I would like to start um, and talk about my uh, few meetings with both of them. Uh, so I'd like to start with uh, Principal uh, Wingo. And um, I was there at Bethany uh, as a new board member uh, doing the school visits. Uh, Principal Wingo, I really want to say the the conversations with you, they're very, very close to my heart. Your words are so wise. Thank you for sharing it with me. And I really, really enjoyed the you sharing the history about the parade with me, where there were horses during the start uh, of the, you know, the high school parade. So thank you for sharing all those memories with me. Um, I'll really cherish them, and I'll definitely miss you when I visit. Bethany School. Thank you for those moments. Um, and then my moments with the uh, Sherbinator, if I can call you that. Um, Heather, I know we met for a couple of times at PDC, and uh, we had discussions about curriculum, all the different aspects, and things like that. And I think what really stuck me with uh, you know, the conversation with you was about the gate. And we shared um, so many um, things that, that was special, not just about the gate, but also about the student as a whole. And that is when I saw how passionate you were about not just the curriculum, but you were passionate about the student as a whole. You were thinking about the student's emotional, mental uh, capacity, and everything as a whole. I really appreciate you for thinking through each and every student and providing the best for our district. Thank you so much, and uh, uh, that memory is always with me, and I'll definitely miss you, and you have made a change. Thank you. And um, I would like to, first of all, congratulate both of you. Um, for your amazing careers and this next chapter in your lives of relaxation and retirement. And um, Heather, yes, you have made a difference. So mission accomplished. I think that we are on a very strong trajectory with um, our curriculum and IT department. Um, and I know you had a hand in that in so many different ways. Um, and Mrs. Wingo, you, my children were at Wickland when you were the principal. and. It's a, it's a strong school. You put in, in place some strong practices, and you carry those over to Bethany, and again, um, just with great leadership. Thank you both for, for the years of experience, for your dedication and your passion to what you do, and best of luck to you both. I will start with Debbie Wingo. I've known Debbie for more years than either of us Fair to admit, I'm sure. Uh, always been a pleasure working with, with Debbie. She always gives her all for the students and her, and her staff. And for that, I am always appreciative. <clears throat> Heather Sherburn, I've known for quite a few years. In fact, I believe I sat on your interview when you interviewed to, to come here. And I believe I saw that spark that Debbie talked about in that interview. It's always been a, a pleasure to work with you, and you, you always also give your all for, for this district and the students and staff here, and I would like to wish both of you the best in your retirement, and I hope that neither of you becomes a complete stranger because I enjoy spending time with both of you. Thank you. Um, I, I'll start with uh, Principal Wingo. Uh, the thing, I, I, it's already been said about you, but you were just an amazing leader, but 
with a leader with a heart. Um, and I just remember on one of my site visits when we were walking around outside and some students were climbing on something and you just went like that with your hand. It was like a Jedi with the power and the students just stopped and, and it was like they just knew. I mean, so, I, I, but it was, it was it, it, they, they didn't look as scared of you, but they, they respected you and, and the way they responded, I just knew you were, you were doing great things for the students, not just academically, but for their well-being. And uh, I, I think my kids were at Bethany right until you became the principal and then Questo was open, but it, I, I've seen your success and, and, and I have to say that I know you're a competitive person and I won't miss the, the winning basketball teams if you're part of the reason they have won all the time. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, but in all seriousness, uh, it's um, so wonderful that you've been able to serve our district and, and done such a great job. And, and I am, it is kind of, interesting how life works and that Deborah Ritchie is now stepping into that position and, and, I, and I think you've left it left her in a great place and um, Heather Sherburn uh, <laughs> I was just telling Dr. Nicholas actually before the board meeting start something that you implemented in this district how it's impacting maybe just one child in my home right now the little workbooks that you started to send home but I, I, I know that it's trickling out to a lot of kids that she just does two pages a day and it, it makes her feel so accomplished and it keeps her on track and that's just one of the small ways that you've made a difference in our district but I know you've spent hours of your uh, personal time uh, and inv been invested in this committee because I remember there was a competition that had nothing to do with Lammersville it was a private company and she was invited to be a guest judge and my kids happened to be participants in the speech contest and she devoted a whole day to, to judging the kids in our district. And so uh, I, I do appreciate the fact that you both have been very invested in our community, not just doing your jobs. You, you went above and beyond and uh, your difference uh, will be uh, remembered and, and missed. Thank you. Principal Wingo, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I, I, knew you as a vice principal. I, I believe that I was on the interview panel for the vi when you were interviewing for vice principal at Wickham, but, um, and, you know, as a vice principal, as a principal, and more important to me, as a mentor, uh, when I got on the school board, every, you know, the community knows that I'm real estate development and construction, education is not my background. There's only 85 pages of acronyms um, and sometimes duplicate or triplicate use of the same acronym, so you kind of have to understand the context. And you were always willing to, um, you know, explain to me what was going on and, and how to how to view things. And and I your guidance and as a especially as a also as a board member, um, the value that I got from my friendship with you and my collaboration with you over the last decade and change um, has been incredibly valuable. So thank you very much. Best of luck on the beach. Think of me and, and definitely have a few margaritas um, on my behalf um, and enjoy it. You certainly have earned it. Um, Ms. Sherburn, um, I, I think I made the comment that one of the first things I heard about you when I got on the board was, be careful what direction you point Heather Sherburn in, because she's going to move that direction. So make sure it's the direction you want to go. Um, and that I have, I have observed that over the last um, seven and a half, almost eight years that I've been on the board. Um, it, is, it is rare to find somebody who is a leader and a follower and can handle both of those roles impeccably um, and shift between being a leader, you know, being a follower and having to collaborate with, with the leadership of the district and then turning right around, walking out of the room and then having to lead and um, your ability to go back and forth between those was, was incredible. Um, such a huge impact on the district. Um, so thank you very much. Enjoy your, reti your retirement and best of luck in whatever it is, wherever it is you go and whatever it is you do, have a great time. Thank you.
So we're going to take a, an extended break to say um, thank you to them or? Correct, and then we would have to formally just pause the meeting um, with a? A motion, move to pause the meeting. Second. Based on a motion by Trustee Olson and a second by Daniel. Trustee Daniel. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are now in recess. The high sign. We're reconvening to open session at 7.46 p.m. Uh, my, apologize, my apologies to everyone. We do have a plaque for both Heather Sherburn and uh, Debbie Wingo, um, and we will bring them up one at a time and present them for a photo op um, if the board will join me in front of the dais. Thank you very much. And I apologize for the faux pas. Item five, uh, committee reports. A, District Advisory Committee, Trustee Pombo. Nothing to report. Uh, District English Language Advisory Committee, Trustee Daniel. Nothing to report. Um, Facilities Committee, Trustee Olson. Nothing to report. Policy Committee, that's me, nothing to report. Um, Safety Committee, Trustee Pombo. Nothing to report. And Wellness Committee, Trustee Boulet. Nothing to report. We should have found that out before the meeting. <laughs> President uh, Clements, uh, one of the things we've done in the past is um, is during the summer months, uh, since there aren't really any meetings going on, is the only one we keep out there is is facilities if there's a planned meeting over the summer. And we... we That's fine. Yeah, yeah, be good. Okay. Let's do that. Um, item six, governing board reports. Um, student trustee Salem, Salem is not here. Um, trustee Daniel? Um, so on June 2nd, um, I attended the graduation, eighth grade graduation at Cardiff Elementary, along with uh, Trustee Pombo. And on June 3rd, I attended the Mountain House High School graduation, uh, along with all other, uh, all of you. <laughs> and on June 9th, I attended the Teacher of the Year Award Ceremony at Stockton, again with all of you. Um, so I just want to congratulate all the graduates, the eighth grade graduates and the seniors um, for their successful academic year. And for the uh, eighth graders, welcome to the Montanos High School. Um, and for the seniors, congratulations and all the very best. And um, to our finalist, um, Mrs. Strauss Hurst, Tammy Hurst um, from Altamont School, uh, I just want to congratulate her and also say that uh, we are so proud um, of you and we were uh, incredibly happy to be present there along with your daughter, Jessica, um, and it felt uh, 
it felt so honored just to have your name be mentioned as one of the finalists. Thank you so much for all your hard work um, that you have put together at school. And to everyone, happy summer. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Daniel. Uh, Trustee Olson. Um, I attended the Cuesta promotion on June 2nd, and it was, um, it was nice, and I think it was a, a bittersweet time for a lot of Cuesta families, as that was the last promotion with uh, Heather Sharp as the principal. But we will survive at Cuesta. <laughs> um, on Friday, June 3rd, I attended the uh, groundbreaking ceremony for Evelyn Costa Elementary School, and, and that's very exciting to see that come to fruition. Um, and I'd just like to thank Dr. Nokas for all the hard work he does to, to make that happen behind the scenes. Um, I won't use your analogy, but it's uh, <laughs> true that he makes it look a lot, a lot easier than it actually is. And uh, I also attended the high school graduation, and uh, I I was really impressed with the student speech that gave, um, and I just wanted to say something about that because I think it reflects on on our whole district, on our principal, on our student services, um, and the teachers. Uh, from, from what I gather, I don't know this for sure, but based on her speech, it sounds like she commuted from another city, so she was a transfer into the district. And it seems like it was a life-changing experience for her, and uh, it, it, made, it made me tear up hearing her speech and all the positive things she said, and, and, and so it made me feel very grateful that our, the kids in our community have that environment that they are in, and, and, and I'm just very grateful to everybody in the district that makes that possible because it's truly, we, we truly are blessed. Our students are blessed, and to think of somebody that was willing to drive 40 minutes just to have that experience is, speaks a lot to the excellence uh, uh, and hard work of people in our district. Um, I also, on June 8th, reported on the happenings of our school district to the CSD board, and they, their favorite item, as always, is attendance and enroll, enrollment numbers, not attendance. Um, and then on June 9th, I attended the Teacher of the Year dinner, and I am very proud of Mrs. Hirsch, as Trustee Daniel said. And I also sat on an interview panel for um, vice principals, and uh, it was great to um, see such great people put forward for the next round. And on June 13th, I attended the meet and greet for the new music teacher at Cordes Park. And it was great to see a lot of students there. So um, I, I was happy to see a lot of eager band students to get going. And that concludes my report. Thank you very much, Trustee Olson. Uh, Trustee Boulay. Thank you. On um, June 2nd, I attended the Bethany eighth grade promotion along with Director Grijalva. And then on June 3rd, along with the other board members and many of the district staff, I attended the Evelyn Costa Elementary groundbreaking, as well as the high school graduation. Um, and one of the things that I remember, and probably will remember for a long time about that high school graduation is the um, speech given by our own President Clements. And uh, the analogy with the cake, I think was just fabulous. And I hope that the students We'll remember that also for, for a very long time. Um, on November 9th, along with the other um, board of directors, I uh, attended the um, San Joaquin County Teacher of the Year award ceremony and dinner. And again, I'd like to congratulate Tammy Hurst. What an accomplishment. My daughter actually had her for two years. She's an amazing teacher. In my mind, she should have gotten the award, but just to be one of the finalists, I think, is, is, an, is an honor. So congratulations to Tammy. And I also attended um, on this past Monday the Mountain House High School new music teacher meet and greet and um, I'm really excited about the energy she's bringing. I'm impressed that school has hardly out for this past academic year and she's already planning and getting to know the families, getting to meet the students. Um, and, I'm, and I am looking forward to an amazing year of music at our high school. Finally, I know the district staff doesn't get the whole summer off um, like the teachers and many of the um, site administrators do, but I would like to wish all of our hardworking um, teachers, administrators, and staff, students and their families, a relaxing and memorable summer. Hello, Tekka. Do you guys need any help over there? <laughs> we had a little technical <laughs> malfunction. I'm so sorry, Trustee Boulay. I have concluded. <laughs> Trustee Pombo. Yes, on um, June 2nd, I, I attended the Cordes promotion. It was 
enjoyable as they always are to see the eighth graders uh, fresh faced and excited to, to move on to Mountain House High School. On June 3rd, I was along with the rest of the board at the Costa groundbreaking. On, also on June 3rd, I attended the kindergarten graduation at Lammersville Elementary and the Lammersville Elementary year in barbecue that is a tradition that's been going on many, many years. Also on June 3rd, I attended the Mountain House High School graduation. I've had the honor and pleasure of attending every Mountain House High School graduation since the beginning of time, or at least since the beginning of the school. Um, on June 6th, I attended, I was part of the interview panel that interviewing principal candidates for our K-8s. On June 9th, I attended the SJCOE Classified and Teacher of the Year Awards along with the, with the rest of the board. And I too would like to congratulate Tammy Hurst. She's a, an exceptional teacher. And I agree with Trustee Boulay that she should have won, but such is life. And on June 13th, I also attended the meet and greet for the new music director at Mountain House High School, and I wish her well in, let's say, uh, a lot of work. So, and that concludes my report. Thank you, Trustee Pombo. Um, I participated in the promotion ceremony at Altamont Elementary School two weeks ago, tomorrow, um, and um, I also attended the Costa groundbreaking uh, elementary school groundbreaking, um, and of course the teacher and classified um, teacher of the year and classified employee of the year, and having had both of my boys have Mrs. Hurst in class, I know what a fantastic teacher she is, and you know I got to say uh, all of the candidates were spectacular. For you know it was it was it was great. A very tough, a very tough group of people to. But the fact that Mrs. Hurst was was up there, um, she can definitely be proud of her achievements. But at the end of the day, I too felt that she should have won. I also attended the meet and greet on uh, with the, um, uh, the incoming band instructor, um, and and wish her well as well. Um, and. Um, I also attended the graduation ceremony for Mountain House High School. It's always an honor to be able to attend the graduation, and every year I tell myself, this year is the best graduating class yet. And I think every year I'm basically correct. Um, I wanted to thank the members of the community for the positive comments, emails, and texts that my wife and I received about the address that I gave at graduation, and also thank you to my fellow, fellow trustee, Trustee Boulay. Um, my address was heartfelt, and as such, I really appreciated the positive, positive feedback. And if only one student remembers that address, then it was definitely a successful address. Um, with the consensus of the board, I would like to ask Dr. Nicholas to provide an update on the plans for permanent facilities, um, because we're looking at you know using temporary units at the high school due to the timing of our need for additional classrooms. Um, and so with the consensus of the board, um, I would like Dr. Nicholas to report in on that. I will have a report on the uh, July 20th meeting. Thank you very much, sir. Um, and that concludes my uh, governing board report. Um, <coughs> item seven, re receiving a public comments. The entire board appreciates hearing from members of the community and public at large. To facilitate this, the board shall give members of the public an opportunity to address the board either before or during the board's consideration of each agenda item, code section 54954.3, 
At a time so designated on the agenda, members of the public also may bring before the board matters that are not listed on the agenda of regular meeting. The board may refer such a matter to the superintendent or designee or take it under advisement, but shall not take action at that time. The board may place the matter on an agenda of a subsequent meeting for discussion or action. Individual speakers shall be allowed three minutes to address the board on each agenda or non-agenda item. The board shall limit total time for public input on each item to 20 minutes. I have not received any blue comment cards and I do not see anyone that looks like they would like to comment at this time. So I will waive um, the reading of the rest of the instructions and move on to item eight, consent items for consideration. Item A, governing board meeting minutes for the regular meeting June 1st, 2022. B, ratification of the 21, excuse me, 2021-2022 new hires. C, ratification of the 2022-2023 new hires. D, ratification of resignations. E, ratification of retirement. F, updated 2022-2023 fundraisers. G, ratification of school-sponsored overnight trips. H, acceptance of donations, $1,000 donated by Virginia Meager for ASB cheer awards, purchasing cheer mats for Mountain House High School. Would any board member like to pull a specific consent item out for separate discussion and deliberation, or are there any questions or comments about the consent item? Move to approve consent items. Second. Is that Trustee Belay? Mm -hmm. Based on a motion by Trustee Pombo and a second by Trustee Belay, any additional discussion or comment? All in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? The motion carries with five ayes and no nays. Trustee Olson, as board clerk, will you do the honors, please? Yes, and I do apologize for the technical disruption, <laughs> Trustee Boulay. Okay. Um, I had to get these names back up so I could <laughs> welcome them to Lammersville Unified School District. Um, Apsana Bott, speech language pathologist. Maria Franco Fernandez, high school custodian, security three. Pooja Gerdar, Special Education Instructional Aid. Kayla Ortega, Special Education Instructional Aid. Victor Manuel Guad, Elementary School K through eight. And, oh wait, I think this is a full, well, sorry, it's one full name, I didn't say it right. Victor Manuel Guad Verdugo Tapia, Elementary School K through eight, Custodian one. And then the, uh, Minakshi Chaturverdi, uh, Special Education Instructional Aid, Jayanthi, Guru Nathan, Nathan, Special Education Instructional Aid, Darren McDonald, Principal, K-8 through Elementary School, Havandeep Nagra, Self-Contained Classroom Teacher, and Radha Padala, Special Education Instructional Aid. We'd like to welcome all of these new hires for, um, oh, there's two more, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, David. Oh yes, uh, Erica Pitney, Coordinator of Instruction and Technology and Integration, and Rebecca Taylor, Special Education Teacher. We'd like to welcome all of these new employees to the Lammersville Unified Family. Thank you very much, Trustee Olson. Um, item nine, District Administrative Reports. A, Superintendent's Report, Dr. Nicholas. Um, my superintendent's report was subsumed in our earlier uh, ceremony, so I will say I have no report, sir. Thank you very much. Item B, district maintenance and operations report. Staff report. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Um, it's summertime, so our cleaning is well underway at all the school sites. Custodians are out working hard every day. Um, our operations staff is out supporting them as much as possible. Our maintenance staff has been focusing on work orders. Um, when I left yesterday, I was pretty happy with our number, but Mountain House High School put in like 15 work orders today, so it went back up, so I was a little bummed. <laughs> Anyways, um, this afternoon I attend, attended the first uh, construction meeting for Costa Elementary. It was at the PDC. Um, last Tuesday, we had our league custodian meeting at the PDC. Uh, we basically reviewed our summer clean schedules. Um, as I emphasize the staff, those schedules, while they may think that they're trite and important this year, they're going to be even more important than ever. Um, we basically have 10 days less than we've had in past summers to get all of our work done, about two weeks. So we have to be on point. We have to be on task. We don't have any flex time or float time to, to be to redo things and things got to be done 100 from the beginning and even with then we're gonna have a hard time finishing everything by the time august rolls around 
Um, and then I was at the Costa Elementary groundbreaking on Friday the 3rd. Um, thanks to my operations and warehouse staff for setting everything up and tearing me down on a quite windy day, as I recall. Um, this afternoon, we did our punch list walk for the solar project. We went to Altamont, Bethany, Hanson, and Wickland. Um, there were a couple little things at each school. Altamont, when you're leaving the flagpole, you walk out the sidewalk. There's a section of concrete around a column. It looks rough, looks really bad, really poor done, so they're going to smooth that out. Um, Altamont's going to need some landscaping. Um, Bethany, there was an electrical box in the island with no cover. So they sent off their electrician to get a cover to put that on today. That's also going to need some irrigation and landscaping. Um, Hansen appears to have several irrigation breaks when you walk the, the front planter bed. There's several areas that look like water shooting out, so we're going to fix those. And they'll need some landscaping once the irrigation is fixed. Uh, Wickland is in pretty good shape. They need a little few plants replaced uh, on the east end of the parking lot. Uh, Lammersville. The pg e shutdown is Monday the 27th of this month. Uh, it's going to be shut down for about four hours to tie in the solar array to the main electrical grid. Um, there's some irrigation repairs that need to be done underneath the array out in the field. Uh, we're going to get those fixed this week. And then they're going to bring some topsoil and level out the area. And then they'll, we'll yank the fence once the area is not a uh, tripping hazard. It's pretty bumpy now if you've seen it. Um, and then Mountain House and Quest there's been some delays on parts because of delays on parts for everything. Um, so the completion date for those are pushed out to almost to the end of July. So that's where we're at with those two. And then the Wickland parking lot, uh, everything's done. The only thing we have to do is the landscaping around the, um, the parking lot area. Uh, we have to put an irrigation line on the west, new fence on the west side of the parking lot. And then we'll have to replant, replant that whole area. Um, our staffing challenges continue. Um, just to give you an example of what we're up against, uh, like Monday, we had 12 people off. We had 10 regular people and then two subs that called in sick. And then yesterday we had 10 people, eight regular people, two subs. And then today we had eight people off, six regular people and then two custodians, two subs, sorry. Um, so every day, it's about a third of my staff on Monday and Tuesday that was off. Um, I screened all the applicants for our openings on Sunday night and I emailed HR to set up interviews as soon as possible. Um, we have an opening at Altima in the evening. We have two openings at the high school, the bid shift and then one um, night shift person. And then we also got permission to get another groundskeeper and we got permission to hire three additional floater custodians from, thanks to Dr. Nichols for his support. Um, so that adds up to seven people we're looking for um, and I hope to interview be conducting some interviews next week and start getting some people in here. So that's where we're at. Happy to answer any questions. Questions or comments from the board? Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Item 10, action items. A, consider approval of 2022-2023 inter and intra-district uh, transfer requests. By tradition, there is no staff report. Move to approve 2022-2023 inter and intra-district transfer request. Second. Based on a motion by Trustee Olson, a second by Trustee Daniel, all, any additional discussion or comment? All in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? The motion carries with five ayes and no, no nays. Item B, consider approval of agreement for legal services with Lozano Smith for the 2022-2023 school year. Staff report? Uh, yes, this is a legal firm we've worked with historically, uh, primarily in the area of HR and school-related matters. Strongly recommend the continuation with that relationship. <clears throat> Move to approve of agreement for legal services with Lozano Smith for the 2022-2023 school year. Second. Um, I have a comment. Um, in the eight years that I've been on the board, I think Lozano has done a fantastic job. I agree. I really appreciate their, their guidance. Um, so, any additional discussion or comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries with five ayes and no nays. Item C, consider approval of the 2022-2023 Local Control Accountability Plan. Staff report? Yes, the LCAP is a, a journey every year, and this is the final step to reach our destination. 
Um, in this case, there is no uh, wizard behind the curtain, uh, but we do have a strong team that did all the work. And so uh, associate superintendent spearheads a team, but a lot of hard work um, and organization and planning uh, are done also by John Sa Dr. John Saylor, Gloria Grijalva, and Irene Busatil. So we want to acknowledge their hard work. Um, and uh, we have reached the end, so we strongly recommend the LCAP. Move to approve the 2022-2023 Local Control Accountability Plan, Second. affectionately known as LCAP. Second. <laughs> Uh, based on a motion by Trustee Boulay and a second by Trustee Daniel, any additional discussion or comment? I would just like to say a big thank you to all the staff that work on this thing every year and successfully jump through all the burning hoops of fire that the state sends our way. Thank you. I would, I would have a comment that there's only one thing in the special meeting that I disagreed with and when, when um, <laughs> Associate Superintendent Harrison said that it's, you know, the three-year plan that's going to stretch to be a four-year plan, I'm like, yeah, they're going to change it between. They, they have to change it. They can't, they can't leave it alone. It's going to get changed. But, and, and for, that is an even more important reason why I say thank you to all the members of district staff that works on this. Because you know, we're going to be working hard on it again next year because they're going to change something up. Oh, I, I would like to say thank you for the same reasons. But also, and additionally, not only do you work on the plan, but then you get to work implementing it and following through with it. And so it's like, I mean, it's, that's a lot of work. So I, I appreciate that um, you're able to do it all. Additional comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries with five ayes and no nays. Item D, consider approval of the Universal Pre-Kindergarten Planning and Implementation Grant Program. Staff report? Uh, yes, this is the board's approval of the plan that will garner approximately $152,000 to support the uh, Universal Pre-K planning that we need to do. Move to approve the Universal Pre-Kindergarten Planning and Implementation Grant Program. Second. Based on a motion by Trustee Olson and a second by Trustee Boulay, Additional discussion or comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries with five ayes and no nays. Item E, consider approval of the 2022-2023 July 1 budget financial report. Just want to say congratulations to Assistant Superintendent Grijalva, Alvina Kaiser, and, and her team uh, for putting together uh, this report. Again, um, having a fiscal, a, a, a very competent fiscal team Keeping track of the money allows us to do a lot of the magical things that we've been celebrating tonight. So recommend approval. Move to approve of the 2022-23 July 1st budget financial report. Second. Based on a motion by Trustee Pombo and a second by Trustee Daniel, additional discussion or comment? I would just like to say thank you to all the district staff that that are charged with figuring all this stuff out every year. I appreciate it, and they always do a wonderful job. I would echo that. Thank you very much. I know that that is like, I mean, if you have a choice between going and seeing a movie and working on that, <laughs> tough choice. Um, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries with five ayes and no nays. Item F, consider approval of Governing Board Resolution 21-22-15 regarding the 2022-2023 Education Protection Account. Staff report? Uh, yeah, this is, uh, was, was, was born in the era of the Great Recession. Uh, it started with the Proposition 30 that evolved to a Proposition 51, and this resolution uh, confirms the district is following the rules of Proposition 51 through the Education Pro Protection Account. Move to approve Governing Board Resolution 21-22-15 regarding the 2022-23 Education Protection Account. Second. Point of clarification, does this require a roll call vote? And we'll waive uh, the voice vote and move directly to roll call, please. 
Lisa Boulay. Aye. Colin Clements. Aye. Benita Daniel. Aye. Stephanie Olson. Aye. David Pombo. Aye. The motion carries with five ayes and no nays. Item G, consider approval of Governing Board Resolution 21-22-16 regarding annual certification of the independent study for the 2021-2022 school year. Staff report? Uh, yeah, this is um, the board acknowledging that the district is following the rules established by the state um, of, uh, for independent study. It was based on an audit finding, so we have to, even though we were following the rules, we have to bring it to you to tell you that we're following the rules. Move to approve Governing Board Resolution 21-22-16 regarding annual certification of independent study for the 2021-2022 school year. Second. Ooh. I think I'm going to give it to Trustee Pombo. Um, based on a motion by Trustee Olson and a second by Trustee Pombo, uh, point of information, this one also requires a roll call vote. Move directly to roll call, please. Lisa Boulay. Aye. Colin Clements. Aye. Anita Daniel. Aye. Stephanie Olson. Aye. David Pombo. Aye. The motion carries with five ayes and no nays. Item 11, calendar. Uh, A, Friday, July 4th and Monday 1st and Monday, July 4th, Independence Day holiday, the district office is closed. B, July 20th is the next uh, regular governing board, governing board meeting at 7 p.m. here in the district office boardroom. In a few minutes, we'll be adjourning to close, close session where we will be discussing the following. A, public employee discipline dismissal release complaint, government code section 54957. B, conference with legal counsel, existing litigation, government code 54956.9D1, uh, consolidated case number 2022-010354 and 2022-020274. Item C, Conference with Legal Counsel, Anticipated Litigation, Government Code Section 54956.9D2. Item D, student, uh, student Discipline and Other Confidential Matters, Education Code Sections 35146, 48900, and 48912B for one student. Item E, Consider Approval of Paid slash Unpaid Leave for, of Absence for One Classified Employee. Item F, Conference with Labor Negotiators, Government Code Section 54957.6. Item G, Conference with Real Property Negotiators, Government Code Section 54956.8. And Conference with Legal Counsel, excuse me, H, Conference with Legal Counsel, Anticipated Litigation, Government Code Section 54956.9. Significant Exposure to Litigation Pursuant to Paragraph 2 of Subdivision D of Section 54956.9. I will now entertain a motion to adjourn to closed session. Move to adjourn. Second. Based on a motion by Trustee Pombo and a second by Trustee Boulay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries with five ayes and no nays. We are now adjourned to closed session. Thank you very much, everyone. Resuming open session from closed session at 8.55 p.m. <clears throat> During closed session, uh, item C, conference with legal counsel anticipated li litigation government code section 54956.9D2. The board took action on a motion by Oh, by, by Trustee Olson and seconded by Trustee Daniel to reject claim number 607421 by the following vote. Five ayes, no noes, no absence, and no abstentions. On closed session item D1, student discipline and other confidential matters, education code sections 35146, 48900, and 48912B, pupil personnel ed code 48918, uh, on student expulsion number 21-22-16, the board took action on a motion by Trustee Boulay and seconded by Trustee Olson to approve staff recommendation of expulsion of student number 21-22-16 for violation of board policy 5131.2 and 5131.8 and ed code 48915B1 
48915B2 and 48900R for the remainder of the spring 2021-2022 semester and the fall 2022-2023 semester by the following vote. Five ayes, no noes, no absence, and no abstentions. On closed, uh, closed session item E, consider approval of leave of absence for classified employee number 130121, one seventeen from, seven, from July 1st, 2022 through July 28th, 2022. The book board took action by, on a motion by Trustee Boulay and seconded by Trustee Daniel to approve unpaid long-term leave of absence for classified num employee number 130121 from July 1st, 2022 through July 28th, 2022 by the following vote. Five ayes, no noes, no absence, and no abstentions. I will now entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. Based on a motion by uh, Trustee Pombo and seconded by Trustee Olson, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries uh, with five ayes and no nays. We are now adjourned. Thank you very much.